To improve upon the drawbacks of using penicillin G in bacteria that produce beta-lactamase, or penicillinase, there was a need to modify penicillin G to decrease its susceptibility to beta-lactamase. Enter the penicillinase-resistant penicillins. Drugs that fall within this class include methicillin, nafcillin, oxacillin, and dicloxacillin. It is important to note that methicillin is no longer used in the U.S., but I've included it here because methicillin is often used in the naming of resistant bacteria. For example, MRSA is methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aurelius. Penicillinase-resistant penicillins have the same antibacterial action as other penicillins. These drugs act as cell wall synthesis inhibitors due to their competitive inhibition of transpeptidase. Furthermore, penicillinase-resistant penicillins are bactericidal to proliferating bacteria. For more review on this mechanism of action, please review the video on penicillins. Resistance to penicillinase-resistant penicillins is very similar to other penicillins. However, there is one key difference. As the name implies, penicillinase-resistant penicillins are less susceptible to penicillinase or beta-lactamase when compared to other penicillins. Specifically, penicillinase-resistant penicillins are resistant to the penicillinase produced by staphylococcal species, for example, S. aurelius and S. epidermidis. However, resistant phenotypes to penicillinase-resistant penicillins can still arise. These resistances are mainly tied to a reduced affinity for the penicillinase-resistant penicillin in the binding pocket of transpeptidase. This resistant mechanism is a common culprit in the development of methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aurelius, or MRSA, and methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus epidermidis, or MRSE. For a review on other possible mechanisms of resistance that all penicillins share, please review the video on penicillins. The spectrum of penicillinase-resistant penicillins extends into bacteria that express penicillinase. However, penicillinase-resistant penicillins still have poor gram-positive coverage. Specifically, penicillinase-resistant penicillins are resistant to hydrolysis by the penicillinase from staphylococcal species, for example, S. aurelius and S. epidermidis. The penicillinase-resistant penicillins are sometimes referred to as the anti-staphylococcal penicillins due to their use in staphylococcal species, and they are considered the primary antibiotic for staphylococcal infections once methicillin resistance has been ruled out. Though sometimes effective, penicillinase-resistant penicillins are generally less effective against penicillin G-susceptible bacteria. The adverse effects of penicillinase-resistant penicillins is very similar to those of other penicillins, including penicillin G. Hypersensitivity to the beta-lactam ring remains an issue with penicillinase-resistant penicillins. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.